Welcome back guys. So things are a little bit different since the last time we saw you guys, but before we get into that, we did have another big snowstorm. I'm sure everybody knows that because I think it's pretty much hit a lot of places. So I would say we got around another probably eight inches. I don't know. I'm not really certain, but nothing too, too bad. We did lose power at my house. We did not lose power here, which seems to be the way it always goes. Um, but I'm just glad we didn't lose it here because it can be a pain if we lose it here to have to hook up the generator and everything. Um, so we didn't have to do that, but we did have it ready just in case. We had the Kubota all fueled up, um, ready to go. The bucket is still bolted on. We haven't gotten a chance to clean out the yard yet because it just finally stopped snowing. I think it started, yes, not yesterday, but the night before last night it started. And it's been snowing pretty hard ever since, kind of snowing slash raining. You can probably see there's just water all through it. Um, we do have the sawdust truck backed up here because um, we didn't want to dump the sawdust out back. We didn't want to make a terrible mess, and we just got that a couple days ago. I think it was the day before the storm or the day of the storm that we did get that. So we haven't dumped it. We've just been taking it from out there into here and bedding the barn. The girls are outside. It's very chilly today, but the reason that they're outside is because the barn cleaner is done. That's it. It's had it. It breathed its last breath. Just that's it no more. So you can see that the gutter is completely full. We ran it the last time yesterday afternoon and it was just a complete struggle. It's been breaking five to six times a day lately. Um, or not really breaking, just like coming off, or just doing weird things that it's never done before. It's been dragging the chain back around and binding everything up. And we just gave up. We've had enough. It's not worth it at this point. The exciting thing is that we did find a used chain um, and we're pretty certain that's the one we're gonna get. It's in New York, however. I think it's in like past Lake Champlain. It's just a long way from here. I think it's almost a nine hour drive one way. So it's gonna be a long drive, but it is totally worth it. I think it's only a five year old chain and we're super, super excited. Um, the only issue is it does have 18 inch paddles and ours are only 16. Um, I was pointing like it's there, but it is not there anymore. So this morning, we, it's really late right now. It's like 11 o'clock. We just finished milking because um, we actually dragged the chain out of the gutter this morning. It took us like two hours. You guys probably saw that because I wasn't really careful with the camera when I was over here, but there it is out there in a pile. It is gone. We took everything out. There's no more chain here. It looks very weird to see it gone. Um, yeah. That's it. We actually had to brace up this head because that just wasn't working right. When the chain got caught in it and reefed it around, it just pulled the whole head sideways and messed things up. Um, but that's pretty much gone anyway. You guys probably noticed this big drive gear right here. Um, this chain is just barely on it because it's so worn out. So that's gone. The sprocket on the bottom is gone. We will not be using that sprocket on a new chain. We just will not do that. It's going to end up ruining the chain or something. So... Um, Brent actually did find a head as well. I think it's from the 90s. Um, so it's 30 years newer than this one. It's been all gone through. Um, I think he's getting a decent deal on it. Uh, we tried figuring it up and you would spend just as much money trying to fix this as you would just getting a better used head. Um, this being gone, that's probably five, six hundred dollars. In and of itself, you'd have to replace the chain because that roller chain has been on this worn gear for so long that that's probably all worn out. That's probably a hundred bucks. I think that's, it's either 80 or a hundred. And chain is expensive. That's probably like nine, ten dollars a foot. Um, you'd have to replace this smaller chain. That's probably seven, eight dollars a foot. We've been having trouble keeping this gear on. Um, so I think the keyway is all just bored out. So you'd need a new probably just a whole new sleeve that goes in there because I don't think you'd be able to do anything with that. You might be able to have a new keyway done. But like I said, it would just cost so much to get this head back in good condition for a new chain that you might as well just buy a better used one that's been all gone through. So that is the plan. And that I think is in Vermont. It's kind of on the way. So I think that's the plan is to pick that up on the way and then get the chain. Um, it's gonna be quite a road trip, but yeah. Um, I'll go show you guys the chain. It's in a pile out in the yard. Yeah, it just looks so strange to see it empty. It's much deeper than you'd think, too. It's like up to my knee. There she is. In a heap, where it belongs. I shouldn't say that. It's treated us well. Um, skimping by with it has been working, and it's just not worth it anymore. You can see, like... All of them just look, oh, it's actually not that bad, but 
Okay, that one's good. We haven't picked out the good ones yet. That one is good, so I'll keep that one so we don't have to pick that one out. We're going to pick out all the good ones that we've been replacing the bad ones with, so like that one. We'll take these ones out, and then we're going to load this in Brent's truck and take it to the scrapyard. Um, just kind of see how much it weighs, because I think this is 380 feet of chain, and I think the one he's getting is only 350 feet. So we should be able to scrounge up enough of our own links and stuff. We already have six feet in the barn that's just good chain that hasn't been used yet. Um, and here's another one right here. And we also have ones that we've been replacing along the way. So we probably have just enough or maybe just under and we'll have to pick some up at one of our local places. They always have like a few feet of it. So we might just have to go around and pick up some um, stuff at some different places. But yeah, there she is. <laughs> It's kind of sad because, I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of attached to it even though it's just a barn cleaner chain. It's like the end of an era. Did a good job. Now it's just time to put you to rest, reuse you, melt you down for something else. Yeah, so just wanted to show you guys that. We aren't going to be working until later today. I'm probably going to head home and relax for a while and then we'll be back and I've got plenty of things that we can work on to show you guys. So I will see you guys in a few hours. Okay guys, so we are headed back. It's around three o'clock. We're headed back a little bit early because like I said, we had some work to do. So we're gonna be taking the machines all apart. We did get new inflations the other day. Ours were kind of scratchy on the inside um, and that's a good sign that they need to be replaced because that can be rough on the cow. It can cause bacteria to get in there and give them an infection, give them mastitis. So we do need to get those replaced. Do We need to get those replaced so that they're not you know, causing any issues there. And also a lot of them get holes in the side of them now. I don't think they make inflations like they used to. I don't know if they're using a different kind of material for it or what, but they just don't seem to last. Um, where the machine like bends over, like, you know, if you hold the machine to put it on a cow, the inflations kind of bend over and obviously you have to do it like that. Well, they end up getting holes there and then it sucks air and obviously that doesn't work well at all. Um, there's a lot of them that are like that, so we just need to get them replaced. So we've got a whole new set of those. And we're gonna put those on and while we're doing that, we're gonna take the shells and the bowls and we're gonna soak them in acid, give them a good scrubbing just to make sure that everything's all clean. And I think that we're gonna be taking care of the chain just so that's not in the yard anymore. We're gonna be picking that up, picking through the good links and the bad links, putting that in the back of the truck just so we can get ready to take that to the scrap yard. Um, I did bring some gloves because it's gonna be a very, very dirty job and my leather gloves got so nasty this morning from taking it out and manure and stuff was actually like soaking through them to the point where it was actually making my hands wet so I'm not putting those back on so we're just gonna use those I brought like three pair just in case I break a few of them I'm pretty sure they won't fit Brent so I don't know what he's gonna do but my hands are gonna be clean so the roads are still pretty nasty we're on the paved road right now but the dirt roads are pretty pretty gross because they haven't really plowed them yet so we'll be there in a minute Got the Kubota up here. I don't know if that's what we're gonna put the chain into. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm not gonna soak those shelves. Starting without me? What? I'm not gonna soak those shelves. Well, they look fine. Yeah. But we're definitely doing the bowls, right? Yeah, we gotta soak the bowls after. Okay. Those are the new inflation. It did kind of break in the middle. Ultra liner 01 AULT. This is the worst part though. Break. The worst part is get the air holes off. Yeah, I don't know why. Pulling these off is not so bad. It's Taking them apart's not bad. Thank you. All you gotta do is put the edge on something and roll it. And this one I usually break right here. Yeah. 
That one's fine. Most of these ones are so far. What? Machine left. The last one. Technically two, because we haven't finished that one yet, but I like to look on the books. Five. <laughs> That's for them extra blessed cows. <laughs> Fourteen without cracks and eleven bad ones. Not as bad as last time. No. We're gonna need some paper towels, right? Yeah. Well, no, actually, we're gonna get them wet. So. Well, they might be a little bit because that sink was wet. Yeah, maybe. Just in case. They're so pretty. Oh, pretty. I don't know what's worse, though. You got a towel? Can you give me one? Yeah, I do. What'd you say? There you go. I said I don't know what's worse, putting them back on or taking them off. So, putting them on, you just stuck them in there. Best you can. Put the edge against the sink and pull. He found that looks, that looks, two air hoses that were cracked, right? This one seems, well, I guess it'd be all right. kind of sloppy. Yeah, it's a little belled out, but I guess it's okay. Where's the old one? You throw it in the box? Yep. Now we can take a back part to soak the bowls. There. Draw some hot water. Real hot. Real hot. Ooh. Do that while I put in. 
You're missing coffee and a donut, that's all. Right by the heater. Oh. You want acid in it? Yeah. Let me take those up in the chalk. Put them in it. I'll just do acid tonight on them. Okay. I'll do a good one. Three thirty. Enough time for a coffee break. Yep, yeah, I'll go get coffee. Hint, hint. I'll go get coffee. Um, we'll, we'll go around with the pail for the couch. All right. We got all the inflations on, um, clean the bowls. They do look better, but they're still pretty yellow. Some of them are newer than others. Like this one is newer than that little one there. They just look yellow because they're old and that plastic just kind of turns that color with age. Um, so they're all clean, all good to go. We just gotta hook them back up and run the rinse. Then we're gonna go around with the bale for the girls, let them in, milk, and that'll be it for the day. We are gonna load up the chain tomorrow, I believe. We just don't have time to do it tonight. So we'll pick through that tomorrow, find the good links, throw that in the truck and take that over to the scrap yard. And yeah, say goodbye to that chain and hello to the new one. New one, new to us, but not new, but much better condition than this one, obviously. He sent us so many pictures of it and it looks great. It looks just like the links that we have that we haven't used. Um, so it should be good for at least 10 years, if not longer. So yeah, um, I'm gonna have a cloth, coffee, coffee. <laughs> coffee break clearly i need it so thank you guys so much for watching as always don't forget to like and comment down below and subscribe that really does help us out a lot if you're new here thank you so much for joining us and i hope you'll join us in the next video if you're not new here thank you so much for your support along the way so keep it real keep farming keep looking out for that sun because one of these days i know it's gonna get here and the grass is gonna grow and it's gonna be great so thanks again and I hope to see you guys in the next video bye